everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. So about a year and a half ago, I did this video. It was my top WW food items that helped me lose weight. And recently that video has been getting some tractions, getting, been getting a lot of views a year and a half later. So I thought, let me do an updated one because the points have changed. We all have, have personal points now. And also I have some new things that I want to share with you since that video. So I have quite a few things to show you today. I'm going to do my best to go over the points and the calories with them. The points I'm going to be sharing with you are based on my personal points. For me, the only things that are zero points are fruits, vegetables, and chicken and turkey breast. So there are some things, for example, yogurt, that is not a zero point for me, it may be for you. Also, disclaimer, I am no expert in anything. These are my own personal views and opinions. Any of the things that I share with you, if I say something's healthy, that's just my own personal opinion of it, please do your own research. Also, I know there are gonna be food police that watch this video. I will let you know there are some items that are processed. Whether you eat processed foods, how you eat is completely up to you. You have to do what works for you. Personally, for me, I like to do the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of what I eat is fruits and vegetables, whole grain, lean meats, that type of things, healthy fats, and then the other 20% will fall into the category of it's not the healthiest, it is processed, that type of thing. So some of the items that I share are gonna be healthier choices, and some of them are gonna be not so healthy. Maybe they're processed, but they are lower in points and calories, and so gives you options. So I'm gonna start this one a little bit different because I do wanna show you some of the healthier things, basically the things that I really focus on. Number one is fruits and vegetables. So whether you use fresh fruit, frozen fruit, banana and kiwi are pretty much my staple fruits. Those are always in my house. And then I also have blueberries a lot, cantaloupe. For blueberries, I have fresh and then I also have frozen. So whether you use frozen fruit or fresh, that's personal choice. I like to keep some frozen for when I'm having smoothies. I prefer to eat my fruit, but there are times where I do need to break them down and put them in the form of a smoothie. So I like to keep blueberries. I also usually have some frozen bananas in my freezer. And the other thing that I always usually have in my freezer is from frozen kiwi. And for the kiwi, I leave the skins on when I make smoothies because the skin is really nutritious for you, but I can't get myself to eat the skin if I'm like eating the kiwi itself. So when I'm putting it in smoothies, I leave the skin on and that way I just blend it. So those are pretty much my staple. Those are what I try to focus on the most. Vegetables, green leafy vegetables, those will help to keep you full. Lots of fiber in there. What I usually do is when I do my grocery haul, if I go to the farmer's market or a lot of times I get my produce from Aldi and I'll come home and I'll literally put it all together, get it washed, ready to go in my container so that it's all sitting in my fridge and ready for snacking throughout the week. So one thing I'm really not showing in this video is the vegetables, but I do load up on tons of vegetables, leafy greens, broccoli, like I don't even think there's any vegetables that I don't like. So I just get all my fruits and vegetables all ready for the week, prepped, and then put them in my fridge and they are ready for snacking throughout the week. Very quickly, proteins, salmon, cod, I love those, shrimp, scallops. If you're not a seafood person though, probably something that I eat the most of is chicken breast. I also eat ground turkey, ground beef, we have steaks. So usually for steaks, it's like top sirloin, but for red meats, I try to limit that to maybe like once every two weeks. That's just completely a personal choice. So again, you do what's right for you. And then potatoes, I always have potatoes in my house. Avocado, great for your heart health. This one I just pulled out of my freezer. Yes, you can freeze avocado, I just found that out. You freeze it and then just run it under cold water for about 15 minutes and then it's perfect. But you have to use it right away though. A couple of other things for grains are brown rice and white rice. I do have white rice. So brown rice for some people is zero. For me, it's not. It's five points for a quarter cup dry for each one of these, doesn't matter. But the brown rice is the healthier. So there are times though that I'm not able to have brown rice. Um, so I have to switch over to white rice occasionally. For the calories on these, it's 170 calories for a quarter cup dry. So rice is something I always have. Some people like cauliflower rice. Personally for me, I, I'm just not a fan of cauliflower rice, uh, but I know some people will mix it, do half and half, completely up to you. And then I always have some type of beans in my cabinet. 
Canned green beans are a staple of mine. And then garbanzo beans, chickpeas. These are great, a great source of protein. I like to add these to salads or roast them. You can roast them in the oven 350 degrees. Just mix them with some olive oil and sea salt and they're a nice little snack to have. Also, canned chicken and tuna. So canned chicken, I don't usually have too often. I just prefer regular chicken, but I do keep this in my pantry just in case I need something quick. For this chicken breast, for me, it's zero. And if you're counting calories, you can have three ounces for 90 calories. Tuna fish, that's another excellent source of protein. This is 110 calories for the whole can or one point for the whole can. And then the other source of protein that I like to have is eggs. So eggs, I didn't bring the eggs out, I didn't show the eggs, but eggs for some is zero, for some it's two points, and usually eggs are about 70 calories. So this is something I get from Aldi. This is turkey kielbasa. For this kind, it's 90 calories for two ounces or three points for two ounces. I like to just do like sheet pan kielbasa and vegetables. Just cut these up and put it on a sheet pan with some vegetables and then just eat that. Aldi also has this chicken breakfast sausage. This is one that I shared in my video from last year as well. These are 45 calories for one link or one point for a link. I believe if you have two links, it becomes three points. Canadian bacon, you can also buy the Aldi version of these or Members Mark at Sam's Club also has some in quite a much bigger package than these. The serving size is three slices, but you can actually have four slices for one point or 60 calories. And then, of course, non-fat yogurt. A lot of people use this in place of sour cream. For me, I do count my yogurt for this whole thing. It's two points. Some people, it's zero. And then if you're counting calories, it's 80 calories for this container. I like to use this brand. This is Faye brand. I like to use this to make my two-ingredient dough to make my stromboli, so that's real good. I personally can't use this in place of sour cream. I It doesn't taste like sour cream to me, but I can use it if I'm doing like a ranch sauce. I can use it to make like a ranch dressing that works for that. Next up is garlic hummus. I love this kind. This is from Aldi. For this kind, you can have two tablespoons for one point. So a lot of hummus is two tablespoons for two points. So this one's only one point and calories is 70 calories. That is really good. I like to put carrots and hummus in a little container like this and just keep it in my fridge. That way I have it all portioned out. I have the two tablespoons of hummus in there. I can pull it out or take these to work with me. Next up that I love just having all the time is salsa. Salsa is great just to add some flavor to things. And best of all, it's zero points. 10 calories, so you can do so many things with salsa. Put it on eggs, put it in a wrap, top anything with it. Just kind of bulk up the flavor of it. Something I don't eat quite as often as I used to, but my husband does, is laughing cow cheese. This is one point for one wedge, and if you have two wedges of this kind, it's two points. There are some that are three points for two wedges, so just make sure to scan it. But this garlic and herb kind, you can it's a true one for one. And if you're counting calories, these are 30 calories for a wedge, but you can do a lot of different things with these. These are great if you've seen some of my What I Eat In A Days from a while back. Um, I used to use these in uh, wraps. I've made uh, Alfredo sauce with these. There's just a lot of different things that you can do with these. My favorite cheeses right now though are the Baby Bells. This, these are more of like a cheese spread and this is more of like a hard cheese. So these are Baby Bells. I believe they have light ones that are two points, but these ones are the three points. Also, turkey pepperoni. I like to have these in my pizza meatloaf or pizzas. Sometimes we want pizza and rather than order a pizza out, I'll make my own with the two ingredient dough and use some of this. For this one, the serving size is actually 17 slices and it's 70 calories, but you can have 20 slices for two points or you can have 12 slices for one. Another thing I forgot to share earlier was sliced potatoes. These are canned potatoes. I keep these in my pantry just to have on hand in case I need something quick. For these, it's one point for two thirds of a cup or you can have the whole can for three. And for calories, 60 calories for two thirds of a cup or 160 for the whole can. These are great. You just fry, I usually just fry them up with a little bit of olive oil and they're kind of like breakfast potatoes. I actually just came across these recently. So these are called holy guacamole. It's just guacamole in these little containers. You can have all of that for three points. I usually only use half of it at a time. I usually, usually use it for toast or in place of mayonnaise, something like that. And for the calories on this one, it's 120 calories for the whole cup. I want to share with you some salad dressings. 
So I have gotten to the point where I, for salad dressings, I like either olive oil and vinegar, or I don't have it here, I'm gonna put a clip up, tatsiki sauce. I've really been liking tatsiki sauce. I think you can have two tablespoons of it for two points. It's like a cucumber yogurt. They have different flavors, but I get that at Aldi. But I like, I've been having that usually for my salad dressings. But there are other salad dressings that my husband will typically use or that I will use. I like this kind mixed with cucumber. This is Olive Garden light Italian dressing. For this kind, you can have two tablespoons for one point, and it's 30 calories for two tablespoons. And then I think these I got from Walmart. These are a healthy choice brand. So they have Garden Ranch, they have Garden French, and Creamy Italian. So for the Garden Ranch, it's 45 calories for two tablespoons and one point. And then for the Garden French, it's the same, 45 calories for two tablespoons or one point. And then for the Creamy Italian, you can have three tablespoons for one point. Um, if you only have one tablespoon of this, then it's zero. Next up is Kodiak Cakes. These are 100% whole grain pancakes, basically. And for these, you can have half a cup for four points or 190 calories. So if you've watched my channel for the last couple years, then you'll know that I use these a lot. These are what I use in my pancake bakes for breakfast. Something else that is pretty much a staple in my house is unsweetened almond milk. I use this in place of any other milk. I usually don't use regular milk. So for this, it's half a cup for zero points or one cup for one point, and calories on this is 30 calories for one cup. All right, the next item is an item that I came across this year, and that is Good Culture Cottage Cheese. This is probably my all-time favorite thing to eat. This cottage cheese is so good. The ingredient list is so small. It has good bacteria in it for your gut. You can have three quarters of a cup for two points. If you're counting calories, it's 80 calories for half a cup. I'm telling you, this cottage cheese is the best. One thing I never liked about cottage cheese is how runny it was. So with this kind, it is not. It is so creamy, and the cottage cheese, it's really small. They're real small curd, which I like about it because I don't like the large curd cottage cheese. It's just way too chunky for me. This is packed with protein. It has 14 grams of protein in a half a cup serving. So if you just need a quick, quick protein filler-upper, this is something great to have. One thing I like to do to bulk up my protein is just put a little bit of cottage cheese in with my eggs and it makes them really creamy. So one thing that is a little bit high in points and calories, but that I like to have in my pantry is nuts. So nuts are, I think five points for an ounce, five points for an ounce and like 170 calories. Here I have some mixed nuts. So what I usually do is just portion out half ounce servings and then I just put them in these little containers that I get from the Dollar Tree and put them in my cabinet and that way they're already portioned out. Instead of grabbing the whole container and eating them right out of the container, I grab this and know exactly how much I'm getting. Okay, next is pastas. So pastas this year, I have really been into chickpea pasta. I love this Banza brand. This is my favorite pasta now. It's only four points as opposed to six points of regular pasta and 190 calories. That's for a regular two ounce serving. And this kind has a lot of fiber and protein for the two ounce serving. It has 11 grams of protein and five grams of fiber and it's made from chickpeas. So that's my favorite brand. I do have, uh, Barilla has chickpea, they have rotini, and I also got some chickpea spaghetti. So I haven't tried these ones yet though, so I can't speak to how good these ones are. But again, same points and calories on these ones, four points as opposed to six points of regular kind. So the protein and fiber on these, the fiber is a little bit more on these ones. It's eight grams of fiber for a two ounce portion and 11 grams of protein, so the protein is the same. But these ones are a little bit higher in fiber. So again, though, the Banza brand, I love these. The next thing is quinoa and brown rice. So if you are a lover of quinoa, quinoa is so good for you. It is a superfood. It's a great source of protein. It is a, I believe it's a complete protein. So I personally just am not a huge fan of quinoa. 
So I do get it and I make it occasionally and I try and add it to different things like salads and things like that. But to eat it plain, I just can't. But I did find these 90 second, I found these at Aldi. These are 90 second quinoa and brown rice. I like them this way with it mixed with the brown rice. I can tolerate it. I actually really enjoy these ones. So you can actually have this entire pack for six points. Usually when I have this, I usually only have probably a third of it. So it would only be about two points for the calories. It's 450 calories for the entire package or 250 calories for a cup. Usually when I have anything like rice, I usually only have a half a cup of it. So that is really good. So if you want to get your quinoa in, try having it like this or just make your own brown rice and quinoa and mix them together. All right, next, I would not be me if I did not share my chia seeds. These are so good for you. Again, another superfood. One tablespoon is one point or 60 calories. One thing I do with these is I put them in my overnight oats. I will toss them in my salads. I put them in my smoothies. Anything that I can, any reason that I can to have these, I do. So in that one tablespoon, it's two grams of protein, four grams of fiber, and four grams of fat, but it is all healthy fats. There's no saturated or trans fats in that four grams. And for your carbs, for those of you worried about carbs, it's four grams of carbs, but it's four grams of dietary fiber. So it's gonna net out at zero carbs. No added sugars, no sugars. These are just so good for you, so heart healthy. A lot of people make chia pudding, just mix it with water. I myself don't care for that way. But sprinkle onto salads, oatmeal, toast, pastas, fruits, and other foods to give them more texture. But one thing it talks about that I've never tried is this says bake up. Use as a gluten-free alternative to eggs and flour in recipes. So those of you that are wanting kind of a gluten-free alternative to eggs and flour, try that. I've not tried it, so I can't say how it works. But these are, these thicken, they kind of become a, like a gel. So that's why I like them in my overnight oats. It really thickens my oats up. So these are just a wonderful, wonderful, healthy thing to have in your house. So next up is these collagen protein oats. I love making my own overnight oats. They're so easy to make, but there are times where I just maybe don't have time to meal prep. So I like to have these in my pantry just in case. These are a little bit higher in points. These are seven points. They're 12 grams of fat, but only 1.5 grams is saturated. It does have two grams of added sugar, but it has a little nut butter pack on the inside. And then what you do is just fill it with water or milk and there's a little line in there when you open it. And then you heat it right in this and then put your nut butter over the top. So these are really good, but like I said, there's seven points and then for the calories, they're 260 calories. For those of you who are gluten-free, they are certified gluten-free, made with organic quinoa, amaranth, and chia. So those are one thing I like to have. The next thing that I've started taking this year, not all the time, but is Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. This is not a true protein powder in the sense that this is not a complete protein. So in order for something to be deemed a complete protein, it has to have nine of the essential amino acids in it. And this one is lacking one of them. So this does not have tryptophan in it. So what I do to make it a complete protein is just make sure that I eat something that has tryptophan in it. That's how I do it. It has 20 grams of collagen peptides in it for two scoops. And then protein, it has 18 grams of protein for two scoops. I usually only use one scoop of this. I like to just add it to my overnight oats or add it to a smoothie, something like that. And I usually never have more than one scoop a day and I don't always use this. So for this, for one scoop, it's zero points and 35 calories. Next up is PB2 powdered peanut butter. This is something I use in a lot of things, my overnight oats, smoothies, uh, in with apples, I mix it in with apples, either mix it in there dry, or some people say add some maple syrup. I've tried that, that's delicious too. So many things you can do with PB2. I think I need to work on a video to show all the things you can do with PB2. So for this, it's 60 calories for two tablespoons, and if you're counting points, it is two points for three tablespoons. If you want just one point worth, then just a little bit less than two tablespoons. Next up is rice cake. So when I was talking about the laughing cow cheese, this is one of the things that I like to have the laughing cow cheese on. These are great. I don't care for these by themselves, but they are good with the laughing cow cheese. For these, they are 35 calories for one rice cake or one point. 
So if you combine it with a Laughing Cow cheese, then it's only a two point snack. So now for sweeteners, there is the monk fruit. It's Lacanto monk fruit sweetener. This is the classic. And then they also have golden, which is the brown brown sugar version. I had to get this kind off of Amazon. My stores, local stores, usually sold both of these, but I've not been able to find this kind in my stores lately, so I had to order this one from Amazon. I'll be linking as many of these items as I can down in the description box, so check in the description box if you want to look into ordering any of these. So these are great. It's made from monk fruit extract. Zero calories, of course, zero points. And then also, Lacanto sells maple flavored syrup. So I've been getting this. If you watch my old video, I was using, I think it was Maple, maple Grove Farms. But I have since switched to this. So this is the Lacanto maple syrup that I use. For this, it is 20 calories for two tablespoons. You can have four tablespoons for one point and one tablespoon for zero. Also, another sweetener is Swerve brand. This one is confectioner sugar, so you can pretty much find any of the sugars, whether you want brown sugar, white sugar, or confectioner sugar. You can find that in the Swerve and Lacanto brands. I think both of them have them. So there are a few items that I'm gonna share that I personally don't eat anymore, but my husband still does. This is Ray's No Sugar Added Barbecue Sauce. For this kind, it's 15 calories for two tablespoons and zero points for two tablespoons. So that's something, I shouldn't say that I never have this. I do have maybe a little bit once in a while, but for the most part, I haven't really been eating that. Um, and same with this one. This is Snack Pack Sugar Free Pudding. If you know me, I used to eat this every single night. Now I maybe have one every three months, but my husband still likes these. So these now are three points. They used to only be two. They're three points for one container and 70 calories. The other thing my husband still likes is queso. This is the kind you get from Aldi, and this kind is one point for one tablespoon and 45 calories. This for me is one of the ultra process that I've just chosen to give up, but again, you do what's right for you. So another thing worth mentioning that I have occasionally is gravy. So I prefer to make my own homemade gravy, but this is something that I will have once in a while. This is one point for one third of a cup or 25 calories for a quarter cup. And that is roasted turkey and that is pretty good gravy. A couple other things worth mentioning is sugar-free, fat-free jello. This is a cheesecake kind. This is great to add. I like to add this like to overnight oats or sometimes a pancake bake. You can have the whole entire package of this for three points. I think it's one point for a quarter of the package. And something I like to add to some of my recipes is cake batter extract. That's something that just adds a little bit of cake flavor to things. Seasoning, I like to use everything bagel seasoning. I like that on my avocado toast, so that one was worth mentioning. I also have this salt-free seasoning that my stepfather gave me, and this is pretty good. This is also on Amazon, so when I run out, I'll get some more on Amazon. All right, finally, a couple other things here. These are Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. For these wraps, they're only one point or 50 calories. These are excellent. They have five grams of protein in one and 11 grams of fiber. So it's 15 grams of carbs, so it's only four net carbs per serving, for those of you who are watching your carbs. These are great. I love these to make breakfast burritos, to make wraps. I've done wraps before if you watch through some of my old videos where I'll take a Laughing Cow cheese and put it on there or some tatsiki sauce and then put some chicken. There's so many things you can do with these. You can use them as your pizza base if you want, but they are kind of flimsy. For pizza base, usually what I'll use is these lavash breads. So for these, it's a whole flatbread. And for the serving size of this, it's a half of flatbread. So for a half of flatbread, it's 60 calories or one point. For this one, it's six grams of protein for the half flatbread and two grams of fiber. So if you're watching your carbs, it ends up being six net carbs for this one. It's eight grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. So those are these ones hold up better if you're using them for pizzas. So if you wanna make little flatbread pizzas, those are great for that, but they make good wraps as well. And one more thing worth mentioning, if you are a Nana like me and your grandchildren like animal crackers, I did have to look because when they're here and they have animal crackers, Nana likes to have a couple with them. For the animal crackers, you can have 16 of them for five points or 120 calories. So that is my wide variety of some healthy and some not so healthy 
processed foods that I'm sharing for 2022. You have to decide though what works for you. Like I said, I try to follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of what I eat is gonna be healthy, whole foods, and then I have 20% that is not gonna be the healthiest choice. So if you have a favorite food item that helps you, regardless what stage you're in, whether you're losing weight, you're maintaining weight, or just trying to eat healthier, let us know in the comments below, and that way other people can see it as well. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new, I would love it if you'd subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. It's a journey.